Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Until the Last Drop It Like It's Hot. My name is Marco Del Vecchio. I want to thank my production company, Purple Banter, for producing this bad boy, as well as Happy Dad, as well as Rain Energy, best clean energy on the market. And before we get into our guests today, which are absolute two studs from a little show I was on called FY Island, we're going to get to the drop of the week. So, yet again, another date. What a surprise, right? And guess where I took them? Soho House, West Hollywood. The food sucks. The views are great. So, halfway through the meal, I feel something brewing in the old tum-tum, and I excuse myself to use the restroom. On the way to the restroom, I had a fart. Never trust a fart. I shit my pants on the day to Soho House. Yes, I did. And I went in the restroom. Uh, I know, this is a disgusting drop. Uh... First one of the show went into the restroom and obviously had to get rid of the underwear that was soiled with sweet green. And I uh, noticed their trash cans are baskets and their cloth towels because it's a nice place. So I couldn't flush underwear. I couldn't throw it away simply. So I had to wrap it up in towels and I'm not walking out of the restroom with shit underwear in a towel so I hit it on the bottom of the basket that's the drop of the week after that no smoochy town for me let me tell you that no kisses and now to our guest they're firecrackers we just smoked a backwoods I'm higher than a kite let's go the twins from Boy Island Akeem and EJ I've been doing shows now we ain't stank remember sleeping on the floor we're still in the gas station when the times go in the kitchen Get over here. Hey, what's going I on? haven't you seen guys? you since the show. Ugh. I haven't seen you since the show either. I know. How's, <laughs> how, how's, uh, how's life after the show for you guys? Uh, life's doing good, man. We just, you know, uh, we was waiting for the show to come out, really. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. this was a good experience. You know, I'm glad the show came out. Life doing pretty good. Now mm -hmm. we just, you know, um, coming out, coming back with some more shit. Hell yeah. And you're in Houston, right? Yeah. What do you guys think about that drop of the week? Did you ever do anything like that on a date? Nah, I ain't never nah, When's the last time you that. shit your pants? I think I was like, <laughs> I was 11 years old. Oh, I ain't gonna fuck lie to you. you. It wasn't, dude, I, I was shit as an adult. On my soul, listen, so I was actually here in California. I was 11 years old in mm -hmm. Chinatown. I remember this. Something I about the area, here, right? And like, I, I swear to God, I was here. I was in Chinatown. <laughs> in Chinatown. <laughs> yes, I was, with my, I was with my dad and my sister and Elijah. And I was just telling my dad, like, hey, you know, it's about that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I gotta go. It gotta happen. Like, right now, like, it not, like, if I move one cheek, it's gonna slip out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, so we go park, we go, all right, we walk into the bathroom now, but Elijah and my sister, yes, that was me. they mm -hmm. kept on fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they kept fucking with me and shit. I was like, look, bro, leave me alone. Like, like I'm telling you. They were slapping your ass? Yeah, they were trying out? to slap my ass and shit. I, was, I said, I'm telling <laughs> you, like, if you lift a cheek, it's going to be over with, because I'm letting you know, like, you feel me? It's going to be on and popping, and, they gonna, I'm, and it wasn't, like, solid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was liquid. It was liquidated. Oh, you know what I'm wow. saying? So it just fell out. Yeah. So yeah. like it wasn't boo boo. It was doo doo. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It, it was a difference. So man, they fucked around and slapped my ass. Boom! I blew. Oh, <laughs> things happen. I was like, oh, they was like you just shit it yourself. I was like, no, I did it. <laughs> but yeah, and I shit it on myself. Damn. Yeah. So you guys go on a lot of dates? Are you? Yeah, I yeah I go on a lot of dates. I like going on dates. You yeah. Me? What's your yeah. ideal date spot? You know, besides shitting your pants on it. <laughs> well, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. So my father told me this when I was a young cat. Uh, <laughs> he told me like when it come down to dates, women just want something good to eat, nice to see, and good to drink. So. Make sure it don't matter where it be. See, I'm gonna tell you, these dudes they be coming out here just doing the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it tell up. me, cause I'm fucking doing the wrong like, thing. Fucking it up for the wrong I'm, people. I'm like, I mean, I get it. It's, it's cool. We can go to dinner. We can go get some eat. You hungry? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's all right. But I want to have fun with somebody. So my first idea date would be like something that you can get to know me, cause you coming into my world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you coming to join with me. I, if you want to tell me you want to go here, go eat. Take your ass over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to pick everything. You feel me? That's how I feel. Like I feel like I got to pick everything. So I'm going to have a whole date planned out, and it's going to be real cool. We're going to go this spot, that spot, this spot, that spot. So what do you like spot. to do? Uh, I, don't, I like to go do a lot of stuff. See, I like to kick back. I like to go to wine. Bowl. I ain't going to lie. Bowl, bowling bowling be my go to fun, I swear to God. Bowling is like the first, like the perfect first date. Yeah. Because when you go bowling, it's just, one, you get to see her from the back. <laughs> <laughs> from the from the rear, from the rear, from the rear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. 
So like, and they, they, you know, they you got a bowl and they stick their butt out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they stick their right oh, shit out. Hey, 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 dip on the chip. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She got a lot of chip, a lot of dip on the chip. <laughs> no, like, um, I think the next, the next ideal date place would be uh, like going to do some crazy. I like going to like where you smash up the cars and shit and the windows oh, and all that, that kind of stuff. Rec room. A rec, rec room. That's what it is. Break room. Break it's a rec room. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break room. Some shit like that. Yeah, it's a rec room. So, so. The, all those things, because there's one that you get trapped. One mm -hmm. of those guys. Get... Well, one time I got, we went to, I went to escape room. Escape room. We didn't escape the room. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys? It was just you. Nah, what you mean? We made it happen in there. What you mean? That yeah. wasn't. It wasn't me. Oh wait, you had sex in the escape room? Yeah. No way, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so. on the camera though. They see. I mean, shit. I, hey, everything you know, gangster. Free show. Hey, everything <laughs> gangster. <laughs> everything gangster. I'm gonna hang, hang, hang out regardless. <laughs> we, you feel me? So but, that's probably it has to be the weirdest place you've ever had sex. Oh uh, no, it's not the weirdest place I ever. had. <laughs> <laughs> so the weirdest place I ever had sex was on. I don't know. I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I don't give no damn. Anyway, <laughs> say it, man. Uh, give a fuck. Was probably on the 50 yard line of my college football. Really? Stadium. That's yeah. ballsy too, yeah. dude. So, yeah, because so we had a real big. It's a real big stadium and shit. And I used to take girls out there to just chill out, have a little picnic late night. Like you played in Maryland, right? Both of you. Yeah. yeah. Terps. Yeah. Did you? Uh, have like access to bring them there? Hell yeah. Oh, okay. You, so, I had access to the whole facility and stuff like that. I hope you don't see this, but hey, yeah. it is what it is. I don't go there no more. But <laughs> that's literally, man. we used to come in. And I used to, we used to hang out. It was good vibes. Too. That's probably well, the So what, thing. were you going like at it on the football field? Yeah, like, <laughs> like fucking. No, but like going like, at it. Kind of cute, low key. <laughs> no, it oh, low key. <laughs> we, we make it echo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did you <laughs> fuck on the field too? Nah, 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 nah. I, um, I what do you think was on the camera right? <laughs> <laughs> now um i think the weirdest place i ever had sex was i don't know maybe like the beach i don't know okay yeah, okay maybe. but people was walking by though for sure. oh okay yeah, yeah. It's, it's a risk factor in my opinion no nah, it's a, a public restroom you may get caught i think you know? from where i'm from back home like in florida that's kind of like that determines if you're from Florida or not. Like you gotta go get some shit. At you beach. gotta go get. Like some you don't go to the beach, beach and go get them. So you ain't cool. You I'm not. sorry. You just don't gotta. Like on, I'm talking about on the beach. On the yeah, beach. Land in the on sand. What part of Florida? Florida. 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 Yeah. Do you miss it comparatively to Houston now? Uh, Houston's just hot as. Fuck, it's hot as. It's hot. I mean, Houston. Cold. There's no water. Houston's yeah, a cool place. It's just dry. You know it's just dry. It's just a lot. It's a lot of It's it's real cool out there. Like it's a lot going on. How are the girls there? It's a lot of women. Uh, they, um, a lot of women. I would say, you know, they're just a little different. Yeah, from, it uh, is a little different. They're just different. How so? They're yeah. probably better than L.A. girls. Uh, um, I, I ain't gonna lie. Personally, I like L.A. girls better. Like I Personality-wise, bro, everyone's trying to, like, but, chase clout and But see, the thing is, support, it's, a, it's a difference. They like that in Houston. It's a difference between if she's from, like, Cali or from L.A. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's two different things because I mess with both. So, like, if they from Cali, they, like, kind of cool. If they from L.A., it's kind of like being home in Miami or being in Houston. Like, everybody going to look for some cheddar, some cheese, a little yeah. cloud, a little this, a little that. You want to be all up in it. You want extra shit. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you just got to know how to, like, Fiddle through that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you talking unrealistic to me, I don't know what to tell you. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, Play, we don't, and, it is, it is. <laughs> and it's not even, it's not even like to say fuck you. It's just we probably don't even talk the same language, baby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You want to do all this. So we just going to move on. Move on. Next <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Move on. Next home. home. What's, what's, your, I, what's your ideal date? Is it the same as him? Like, My no, ideal. Like, fun? Yeah, you yeah, fuck yeah, on yeah. the first date? I, uh, uh, yeah, I, every yeah, relationship yeah. I've been every in, I fucked on the first day. Yeah, first me time. too. Really? First day. Me too. So do you view it as, I has I ask all my male uh, guests this, when you fuck on the first day, when she puts out on the first day or whatnot, puts out in like a misogynistic sense, yeah. uh, what <laughs> do you, like it's a terrible term, I think, like putting out, you both are contributing to it, right? Yeah. 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 What would you put out, that pooch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that pool? Yeah. yeah. Pool. Uh, but like, if you fuck on the first date, do you view them differently or like the chase no, is gone? No. Or is it like, no, I love this girl. No, no. I feel like having sex needs, is like a hello. It's like a hug. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to even, how am I supposed to, okay, we can get to know you. Okay, me. I'm going to tell you about my rule. I'm going to tell you me. I give a girl probably about 21 days. 21 days. 21, 21. 
21, 21 days, days to get to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you give 21 days for her to have sex with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but and if you, you're hanging out every day. No, but put like this though. If you don't, it's That's cool. cool. We can still it, fuck with each other. It, we can, it's just I'm gonna go get I'm someone finna, else. I'm gonna go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, are you up front with them about that? Yeah. I mean Or do you tell them or I, I mean I certain, would, certain women. Because that could come off as ghosting if they're not like, aware. Certain women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you leave, that's cool because it's gonna be a waste of time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like 21 days. So they didn't do it naturally. Yeah, naturally. But I don't want to put a deadline on it. But I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't really be having to wait that long. Yeah. I don't have to wait that long. Some of so many dates though in that 21 days. You're going on one a week, twice a week. I love going on dates, not shit my Um Uh how many days? I say about about two, well, two, three days. The thing is, me, I want to see somebody probably like two to three times a week, two times a week. I don't want to see you four, five, six, seven, eight times. I mean, no, you see, can say I that. Like, when you I like someone, that. I want to spend time with exactly, you. I know, but, but still, you got to. That's, that's, that's bad. See, that's though, bad. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like. miss you. I know. I feel like, man, we we mess up by doing that. Like, we get into this phase and it's like, I want to see you edit. Like, you got to know how to control the situation. So, it's not because you want to don't want to see her. It's because you're controlling the situation. Like, hey, you see me this day and that day. Throughout the other days, see me, I feel like, you know, I like other women too. So it's like, okay. It's like when I don't see you, you know what I'm saying? We cool, we vibe, we can talk and shit like that, but I might be with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, I have deep insecurities that, like, because uh, I got cheated on in the past. Yeah. That, like, if I wonder what she's doing or whatnot. And, but you have to have enough confidence in yourself oh, to be like, yeah, yo, yeah. you know what you got. So if she does anything to fuck that up, then fuck her. Hey, plain and simple. And it's like, you got to understand, like, if she if she did something or doing something with somebody else, that just wasn't your girl. Yeah, you feel me? Like it just wasn't. She showed her true colors. Like I ain't is. never been the type of dude to be protective or no. I'm no. protective. Don't get me wrong, but if you if you cheat on me, it's over. Like we don't even have to have a conversation no more. <laughs> ain't no coping. Ain't nothing. It's like you move on with your life. I move on. Move on. Plain and simple. Hey. Cause yeah. probably that night I'm gonna be with somebody else. Probably that night more yeah. than that. You know what I'm but, saying? But but sometimes like even like if you get cheated on or if you cheated on somebody got caught, whatever the case may be, and you go with somebody else when you leave, sometimes you be thinking about that person when you with somebody else. I mean, that, Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. And that's God. and that's a part of me that you know what I'm saying I be trying to work on because now it's like I look at things now like okay yeah. instead of saying okay fuck that I'm gonna go get another girl. Don't be so easy. You know what I'm saying? I work mm. on not being so easy. It's a lot of pretty women in this world. There and it's, are. And it's a lot. I seen bro. a man on the podcast say something, and I'm going to uh, reiterate it. He said, I'm a man that has a large appetite, and that appetite has to be pleased. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, regardless, if I want smothered chicken, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and cornbread, and, and banana pudding, and red velvet cake, you know, it's, it's a big appetite. So, I might want Keisha, Ashley, you know, Tina, Nika. Yeah. I might want. <laughs> I might want, you know what I'm saying? I, I give like you know what I'm saying. When I meet somebody, I always give them a nickname. You feel me? So who are you? What's what's the craziest nickname you gave a girl? Ah, uh, mm. you do to do this too? Yeah, of course. That's I have to. I never call people. I give a girl. What do you call them? Like I, if their names like Kiara, it, you call them Kiki? No, it, it depends like, on the, it. Don't depend okay, on the situation. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a perfect example. I met this lady, and I called her Little Mermaid. <laughs> way more syllables than her fucking name. Little Mermaid, yes, bro. Yo. Like, I, Why? I, I, because, like, so in that time I met her, that's when Little Mermaid came out. The black one? Yeah. The, the movie, yeah. Yeah, the, the black one recently. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I watched it, because I never watched Little Mermaid before, so I watched it, and uh, <laughs> I, was, I was intrigued. I, I got a lesson out of it. I was just really sitting on me, like, the next day. And I was trying to figure something out, and I was like, you know, think about dating. I'm like, these women need to be more like Little Mermaid. And I'm going to tell you, watch this. So in the story of Little Mermaid, everybody know about Ariel. You know what I'm saying? She just wanted, all she wanted was some legs. <laughs> That's all she wanted. She wanted some legs so she can be a human, right? Real yeah. bad. So, you know, she had to sacrifice something. She had to sacrifice one thing. When she was to, what, Ursula? That's her name. And what was it? It was her voice. She didn't say nothing. She couldn't say nothing. Uh -huh. But now she's a human and she fell in love with this man, right? The prince. And he fell in love with her. She made him fall in love with her without saying one word. And that's why I tell these women, like, you don't have to say anything, you know? Because you can be silent. Be quiet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, she was a chatterbox. Hey, yeah, like, I feel like, <laughs> hey, you're like, silence. Yeah, because yeah. I feel quiet. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
if I'm doing something, I want to do something I like you, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You yeah. feel me? Like, so you ain't got to say too much. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. you talking too much. I don't like a motherfucker to be talking too much. Yeah. Because you, oh, and I need, I need, hey, hey, whew, calm down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you doing too much. So that's why uh, when I met Lil Mermaid or whatever, she was a um she was just a nice little quiet little thing. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Nice. So I was like, you know what? Let me nickname the mermaid. <laughs> and, uh, we went on the dates. I took some selfies and sent it to my brother. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's Did you fuck th- her on the first date? No, I didn't actually. Yeah, at all. And oh, um, she waited up, she waited yeah, up hey, days. She was at like twenty two and you were like, no, no. <laughs> but like this, it's, it's 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 um, you know, it's cool. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. chilling. Anyways, yeah. uh who is a story? Uh, sorry, I get it confused about <laughs> the dildo. <laughs> oh, you told. I, I know. Oh, baby. About, I know you told. Tell, about, yeah, you I told it when we were on F Boy Island. It was the funniest story I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I just want you to bless swear. the people with this story. Of, when I told Marco this man, he was laughing so. I was dying. Hard. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> basically, you know, I was Can talking. I get a happy dad first. I gotta buckle in. <laughs> Ain't you said this was like um, it's a seltzer? You want to try it? Yeah, try it. Take a sip. Crack one open. Because you know, this, I don't, this, this ain't beer. You know, I don't do beer. Huh? What? This beer? beer? No, it's seltzer. Okay, okay. So it, it tastes seltzer. like um, it tastes like it's not a beer. I'm telling you, just try it. Let me see. Would you got fruit punch? This is my fruit punch. Is my least favorite. I like banana and grape. Fruit punch. Let me see. It's seltzer. It's light and refreshing, right? It's all right. It's a little something. It's, it's quite refreshing. It's a little something. It's like soda without sugar. No, no, but it's soda like a little. Like, can, it got a little kick. It got a little like at the like back liquid. end of it. It's like a little, like oh, a little, little kick. Like, I'm drunk. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. I like it. Okay, I'm drinking. What'd you guys think of the rain too? The energy. Yeah, I'm about to say that's what guys, I've been we drinking. We would slam Celsius on the show, but that's those aren't right. bad. Yeah, yeah, this is what I like. I was drink, I was just drinking really? this before we even got on here. Yeah. How many do you drink a day? I don't drink none of these. I just was just drinking it today. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. it was good. You you drink energy drinks every day. Uh, I'm not a coffee guy. Coffee gives me anxiety. Oh, really? For some reason. I, I'm like, I don't ever eat drugs. Coffee milk. gives you anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I started really like microdosing a little bit. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Have you guys heard of Magic Mind? Magic Ooh. Mind. What is Magic that? Mind, it's like a little shot you take in the morning and it's like nootropics and lion's mane and stuff that's similar to like mushrooms, but I don't think it's actually psilocybin. And it's literally a steady flow state of energy throughout the day. Because I like the microdose shrooms, but this is like oh, legal, I guess. Okay. Magic Mind. It's like insane. And you mix it with coffee. Shit, you mix it with coffee. But I don't do the coffee, so yeah. I have like a Celsius or now rain. But yeah, now you got all the type of creative shit you be doing. Listen, baby, I'm an artist. <laughs> no, but let me let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. All right. So basically, Marco in. so basically, like you know, uh, I was telling Marco, like one time we was just talking about ladies. You know, we just talk, just having locker room talk. You know what I'm saying? And I was telling Marco, I was telling him the story, like you know, one time I was uh, messing with a, at the time I was messing with this lady, and I was cleaning up her house. She wasn't home. I was cleaning her house up and stuff, you know, straightening things up. You know, she, you know, she had just did me something nice, so I tried to be nice. I'm, I'm gonna clean up. What you feel nice to you? Uh, I, she just made me feel real nice. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? So I'm cleaning up and I go in her drawer and I find one of her toys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was a dildo, but the dildo was like this big. <laughs> it was really like a real big dildo, and I was just like. You know, make me feel uncomfortable, kind of make my stomach hurt a little bit, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Stomach I makes like, her stomach hurt too. You feel me? Like I'm pretty sure it makes her stomach hurt too. So and she was just a little low thing. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. went like she was a little low thing. Short girl, she's like five foot, five one. So how you can do all that with that? I know you so low. That's you. I just I don't understand. You, you this big. So oh sorry. <laughs> so whatever. So she get back home, babe. I'm like, oh what's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Hey, um, we gotta have a talk. Come here, let, let, come talk to me. So uh, she's like, oh, what's going on? Like, I was like, well, uh, <clears throat> I had to, you know, get myself together. I was like, I was, you see, I cleaned the crib up and everything. She said, oh my God. Da, 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 da. I was like, yeah, I, I found, I, I found something. <laughs> I was like, I found, I found something. She was like, what was it? I, I, this is one of your toys. I, I found this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and you know, the, the dildo was moving like this because it was a big ass dildo. So it's moving like this. I was like, yeah, I found this in the room. And, you know, um, yeah, like this. This what you like, like you know what I'm saying. This what you do, and she was like, just, "Oh yeah, I mean." Dude. I was like, "Well, you know," I backed up. You know, I kind of unbuckled my stuff. I put my pants down. I was like, "You know, baby, like this is all I got." You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you feel me? I don't know what you want me to do. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you like all of that at one time, like I got a twin brother. You feel me? <laughs> we can team up, tag team, whatever you want to do. You feel me? Like, but this this what God gave me. You know, this what He gave me. I don't, yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So. 
She was like, oh, no, it's fine. Da, 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 da. But it's, that, like, traumatized me, bro. Yeah. I swear to God. Like, it Did you talk to her or fuck her again after? I, we fell off. It fell no off. Way. Yes, because I couldn't I couldn't view her no I couldn't view her the same no more. Yeah. Like when I have sex with little thing that you exactly. never expected. It's usually those. Just, I did the little putting big items in. Yep, just yeah. just the sweetest thing. No crazy. way. Yes, bro. She that was a nice girl. Crazy. Have you ever used a toy? Like during sex? You know, like did she ever like Oh the little buzzing and shit? Okay. I, I, didn't, didn't, I see I had a vibrating, about me. I had a vibrating cock ring one time and like my ex girl. I heard about the little ring. Because like when it when it's fully inserted, it like Hits the clip, the vibration. I guess I don't know. I I originally bought um. to last longer because I get a quick trigger. <laughs> I say it every podcast. I literally can last ninety seconds if I'm dead sober. Oh, really? I see. I'm reverse. <coughs> you gotta <laughs> have that fire to get me up out of there. Really? Yeah, yes, man. I, I think. But it'd be see, so I don't like me. just doing that. That's why I me. Mean. I'm real selective on who I sleep with. So you don't have sex a lot. I mean, I do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like I don't have sex. I'll be about so, not so not often. as much because how many, like how many times a month. I can't even put a number on it. I can't. Even it's like oh, okay, so it's you know, it just be, some months be heavy. Some months be. But heavy, it's not like different heavy. people. It's like I like. I don't like. Just I like quality. Sex. I like quality over quantity. So, so if you it, find someone though, like, do you like to have sex every day? Yeah, 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 right. I like good coochie. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Real, like, real. I don't like the just different ones. You know what I'm saying? I like the good quality one, the one that soak at night. You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, like, you got to know, like, we we both have an objective. You know what I'm saying? You need to get them off, and I need to get them off. You just make sure. So we get do the you job done. Eat, do you go down? Yeah. yeah, yeah, not off like a random girl from the strip club or anything. Like, no, no, because no, you no. never know, bro. I think that's a very sentimental thing no. to do. Like, I mean, to go no, down there. I'm saying I go down until they come, I and say then I don't have performance anxiety for lasting long. But the thing is, I say like, it's, it's, I always say it's like the cleaner demeanor. You know what I'm saying? As of like, it's some, it's certain like coaches that just look like they need to be eight. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Yeah. And Sometimes something, see, something like they just porn? sit like. It, huh? Do you watch porn? Yeah. Do you, how many times do you jerk off? Do you jerk off every day? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> if I'm not rocking with the chick, everyone thinks I get girls all the time. I can sleep with anyone, but I genuinely don't. Uh, so sometimes I jerk off probably at least once a day <laughs> and it's either like an ex's video uh, or like, cause you ever have like videotapes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they'll actually be the best. It is. Yeah, because it's like, yeah. you can like put. I'll start a porn and I'm like, when's this pizza getting delivered? I gotta but see, I, the thing is, I'm a, little, I'm a little different. I don't do the like on top. I put the ring light and I put the goddamn fam- Oh, it's a production. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm gonna make a movie in this bitch. You're doing I, this studio right now, like, damn, I could be fucking a girl. Oh God, I swear to God, I have a whole production, yeah. music and all in that bitch. Yeah, I, really? I did the same thing. Before. What's your go-to music song for fucking? I like oh. R&B music. I like. That. Oh, dude, of course, like you know, Usher. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Let like, burn. No, 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 Damn. Now you get up in there for sure. What's your favorite sex position? Oh, uh, it depended on it's dependent on the girl. It's dependent on the girl. It's really yeah. dependent it on It really like, depends on the girl. Because me, like, I yeah, feel like every every di- every mind. different yeah. girl has a different like good thing she does. Some girl shit good when she in missionary. Like it's just good. You know what I'm saying? That I ain't gonna lie, that'd be some of the best though. Yes. Missionary is all reliable. Because I, I remember I had a girl. I'm saying because like it's hard. Love I, fuck. I, right I'm, in the eyes, right down the barrel. What I'm saying is it's, hard, right it's hard for a girl like Coochie be good just for on top because like you know I'm just looking at you so mm-hmm. you gotta be like either real pretty because it's certain real girl, pretty like, yeah, yes like, like you just looking like you a fine top. ass bitch. yeah because yeah. I like literally it was like I, I never it was a girl like that and it was like it was like how Coochie had like claws on him you know what I'm saying like <laughs> it like, what? like hair no no not that it just was like was pulling you like you know what I'm saying Bro, like, whenever a girl's about to come it squeezes squeeze and pull you. in a way and it's the best feeling ever yeah I've never had it <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but like no, I remember like if they pretty and shit like that, missionary can be cool. It really all depends on like who you dealing with, you know what you dealing with. What if she, what is her positives, what her negatives, or she got all positives or she got all negatives. What's your favorite porn category? Where do you go to? Um, <laughs> I like, oh, it's I really like weird one. I like the oil. Yes, bro, massage. Uh, no, no I, I, all massage. that just oil. Whatever like, with oil. Like, like I, I do that in real life, though. Yeah, like, honestly, like, when I sleep before I sleep my woman, I 
stand them up and oil their body. Oil. You got to like, no, wait, with what? No, olive oil? No, 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 baby oil. You can do coconut oil, baby, baby oil. oil. I sometimes Does use the oil that shine. Yes. No way. Yes, yeah. oil. What if but they're you like, I don't want to get an oily. That's yeah. what you mean. What you mean? You know, what that's what I let them know. Like, listen, we finna, we finna use this oil. Yeah, because I like it. But the key to you, no. Have you ever had someone that said no? No. No, I haven't. I haven't. And did you be like, nope, then I'm not? No, I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, but you're But you don't do it with, you don't do it with certain people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do that with a girl that I'm fucking with. You know what I'm oh, saying? Not, yeah. a, not just a random yeah, no. girl. No. Not just a girl that I'm fucking with. Fucking, or, if you make a, or if you make a decision and that's just, you know, this is y'all first to have sex. Move. And it's like, this is what I really want. And some women, like, you want to open your whole entire playbook and show them what's up. Yeah, show them, like, oh. like, you can. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you want to really hang out when you really find a new girl that you like and y'all about to have sex why well, you gonna break your whole playbook out really? you know Hell yeah. Yeah. so speaking of playbook on the show you mentioned something about like i overheard the conversation where it was like eating ass and this and that uh but then you were like have you ever blew in a girl's ass <laughs> and i was confused i was like how many is it like cpr like <laughs> no it, just doing one big it like just one, it powerful they <laughs> oh, <laughs> one way, like yeah, yeah, no, but that's when you really want to go crazy. You got like a girl and shit. Like, How does that go. make? What is that like? Why? I don't know. They get aroused, bro. <laughs> what's your favorite like sex like like kink? What's your kink? Toes. I like them toes. I like them toes. I really like. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I won't talk to nobody if your toes ain't right. I promise you, bro. Oh, I have like a. I, I have like a problem. I don't know. It's like a problem. Benedict though. loves fucking toes too. Yeah. No, I love toes. Yes, I've done white, that before. Only white. French Manny. I can do the French. I can it's do just French. The, it's dependent on the toe. What about these guys? <laughs> Did you suck on these puppies? <laughs> what the fuck? You got your, you got your toes good. Them together. Wait for this one. Something is wrong with Something y'all. Something wrong bro. with y'all. Baby blue? <laughs> yeah. Looking like a Los Angeles Charger. <laughs> But, uh, uh, no, girls love like manicured shit. You know how my fucking I socks love. And shoes are all... <laughs> I love. I love. I love when a girl like always just her feet is always right. ain't nothing like just seeing a woman that's naked and she walk around your house just with pretty yeah. toes. Yeah, like I only argue. I only argue one. um in person, and like, yeah. I make a girl. You got to take your socks off before we argue. Mm -hmm. What you talking about? What? Yes, like if you, if you argue. Yeah, before we argue. Before we argue. Like, take your socks off. Cause Why? I just felt, I don't know. I just kind of like that a little bit. Like if a girl cuss you out, barefoot. Is, is you? she cussing you out? You know what I'm saying? She cussing you out. She look real fine. She got these white toes and she look real nice. Even though she mad. Oh, what if they're fucking just fungus ridden? And, oh no, no it won't be. That. It won't Are you be losing that. that argument. Bro, that's the, I'm the guy that, that be on Instagram and, and zoom in on toes. I'm yeah. that guy. So yeah. do you suck on them? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do suck you them up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just depends on where you can have fun with some feet, boy. I done showed a girl like. A thousand things to do. What about feet. like one of those? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I had to put the foot on. You're just down. looking at it? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> or when they put their foot up on the table and it just be sitting and you see them roll toes just oh, sitting up. To roll toes. Yeah, Have you yeah. ever had like a bad toe experience? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, baby. I was, I, I, I nicknamed this girl Toe Jam. <laughs> Toby Bryant because Toe I never forget Jason. like I was with her we was chilling and shit but this shit was the funniest we was shit chilling and shit and you know she was giving me some head shit it was real good too I'm sitting there like oh shit you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm in the back seat I'm gonna try to hold myself up you know what I'm saying <laughs> but so I'm getting frisky you know what I'm saying we uh uh we getting at it I'm in there you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. then you know I'm getting freaking shit so I'm like oh I'm finna go suck on her toes man I went to that store and it just smelled like foot, like in the between her toes. Oh. I said, man, I swear to God, as soon as I did that, I was like, I just stopped having sex, bro. It was over. He, he no came, way. He came in my room. He was like, he was like, bro, her feet, her feet. Uh, her feet. I was like, bro, what you talking about? I couldn't feet. believe that shit, bro. And it was nice. He had nice. So feet. was it salty? No, it was like it was tangy. It was some plants as peanuts. It was uh, tangy. You know what I'm saying? Tangy. Yes, because I. I was like, I promise you should see my Did face. Did you smell it? Don't you do the sniff first? Yeah. Just like going down or girl? You no, sniff I was just first? like, you know, just like all in my face. And I was like, mm, mm, mm. oh, God damn, lady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stank little person. <laughs> You go, you wash, soak your feet. Yeah, baby. Put your you know a lot of people don't wash, wash their feet. They wash their body, but they don't really get, oh, they, they, get I mean, between I'm, them I'm toes. Sometimes guilty of it, like the soap. Just nah, you got to just do a quick rub on the. No, nah, hell no, nah, you got to get between them get, toes yeah, and scrub. Them toes. Oh shit, and scrub. You know what I'm saying? I got some good feet, right? <laughs> I didn't. My, I do not have good feet. No, no. Yeah. I mean, cause I played football and I always wore small cleats. Like we was fast dudes, so we always wore like tight cleats. 
So when we used to plant in the uh, in the grass and stuff, our our nails would go dead all the time. So yeah, my big toe is horrible. Yeah, it'd be really. Horrible. Just yeah. The feet but that's why I like just pretty. That's why I like pretty feet because I gotta see some pretty feet right here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's uh, where'd you guys lose your virginity? And when? Oh, we lost it together. We lost actually. it together. <laughs> no, wait, so you guys do do threesomes with one girl? No, 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 no. no. no <laughs> Have you ever done that? I, I mean, think in college. In college, probably. So you've had, you two have had sex with one girl? I mean, it was like, a, it wasn't, it, it, it was because it was always like two girls. It was, oh, like, yeah, it was, it was, like, we, it was like always orgy, like on yeah. some orgy type shit. Like we okay. probably like, we and then would you switch, switch shit? Probably, yeah, probably. You guys yeah. have a TikTok, right? About the switch up on a girl? But yeah. that wasn't even the case though. <laughs> like I, I, What is the idea concept of the switch up? I mean, no, nah, that's just something that people fantasize about. They ask us all the time. All so, the like, time. we are on social media. Because you totally, you guys could. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But on social the media, tattoos, though, like, yeah, Without the sure. tattoos, like, I know you're keen. Yeah. You're EJ just based mm -hmm. on the tattoo. Yeah, but, like, it's like if, like, we know that people be going crazy about it. So, sometimes, like, we'll set that shit up for the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. we just put, like, right there. Oh, like, okay, they're going to relate to yeah, that shit because yeah, they yeah. like that shit. But... Um, when it comes down to us, yeah, I like my own woman. Like, own like own you know, what yeah, I mean? I I ain't got or like if it's gonna get wild, okay, we can do have with two girls and then we switch and then I want to see what she about. I want another you guy feel? and like I don't mind if a girl wants to, like my girl wants to hook up with a girl and stuff. Yeah, no, tell me so like feelings don't develop. I, guess. I mean, I yeah, yeah, I, I don't mind the two girls at one time. I'm dating one there. I don't, I don't, I like the two girls at one time. That's fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just I can't. You got to get opposites. You can't get two like. You can't get two big rubbers. You know what I'm saying? You can't get two rubber duckies. You gotta get one rubber ducky and one small girl. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you gotta eat a rubber ducky. A rubber is a plastic. It's a plastic woman. woman. It's like a woman with surgery. Yeah. <laughs> so we call them rubber, rubber ducky. Because you look, think of a rubber ducky. You got the booty sticking out, the, and the chest, and the lips. The lips. They rubber. They rubber. You know what I'm saying? A rubber. And ducky. I love that shit. I love the rubber duckies. You know what I'm saying? They, they just be sitting up like I just got a rubber ducky the other, the other day ago. You take a bubble bath with. <laughs> Hey, but the but, thing about it is, we have a saying like you leave the rubber, rubber duckies in the tub. tub. Yeah, the tub and the tub is <laughs> the tub is like like the street. Like, like if you meet her in, in the, the club tub. or the strip club, like don't you can't don't love too much because you met her in the streets. Don't be that's who she is. Yeah. She, then, so where do you meet girls that you want to fuck with? And do you guys want girlfriends? I mean, eventually. Eventually, yeah. I think so. Now so. you're just you're fine with rubber duckies. Uh, I'm fine with them. Yeah, I, like you're. Yeah, I don't. Absolutely. I don't. It's just. It's cool. So you don't like it's, going out. I mean, I don't really because I, I also really care. Because no, the thing I is, really I care. also like. I love. I love rubbers, but I normally date natural girls. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I normally just date so natural girls. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, do you work on? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I do, I but I, I don't like. Right. I don't like. That's I why don't I don't like having sex with a whole bunch of people. Like that's why I don't like wearing condoms. I don't like wearing. It's like my dick can't stay hard, cause see, it makes me last longer. So I fucking love it. <laughs> but I don't. I don't really don't like condoms like that. That's why I can't be. I don't be just. I like. I don't even do the one night stand shit no more for real. For real. Really? Yeah, so you don't no. fuck on the first date. I mean, sometimes it comes up. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the goal. Yeah. If you want to just can't like, if you cool, you look good, and you find a shit, and you want to come stay with me, and it's the first day we ever linking, and you just want to come lay down with me and, and watch, a movie? watch a movie. Man, I'm good with that shit. I like man. that. I'm I like telling that. you, that's life. That seem when you ask a girl that to like. Basically Netflix and chill, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that a turn off? Like, oh, this guy's just of course. To fuck. Yeah, yeah. A lot but of the thing is, so you can't do that. But, you have to. But see, the thing it. about it is this though: if she likes it, she gonna do it. And two, a lot you don't of dudes have to try to fuck. Just I, be cool. No, no. The thing is, I tell a lot of dudes like, this is the secret. I'm telling, I'm gonna give y'all some, I'm some real to, game. Just some game. Hey, I know he's. he's I know he's gonna say. So, I know he's gonna say. The way to fuck is to not to try to fuck. Like, if you go in there and you don't try to fuck and you just chill out. Man, she gonna bust that shit wide the fuck open. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's because she's thinking like, oh, why doesn't put like, cause put it like that. Yeah, like, like, like you gotta think about like this. I'd have had cases where I didn't try to fuck and we went to sleep at night, but in that that morning she fucked. Yeah. Yep. So don't try to. Don't. You don't have what to. What the fuck is the point? Because you understand, girls, women, when they look at you, they know if they gonna fuck as soon as they look at you. If they would, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like they not. It's not like they, as soon as they look at you, they gonna be like. Oh, like just like we look at girls, like oh, I do do whatever case may be to her. When they look at you, they know it's up to you to get it. But you know they know yeah. Yeah. most of the time. Cause usually, normally women just wanna they wanna wait till you like skip a, a skip a step. Like you know what I'm saying? If you get caught lacking, if you yeah. don't budge, if you like know what you're doing, like boom, boom, what boom, you, boom, boom. What if she tries to and you deny them? Is that a good power move? I mean, to establish I would boundaries. Say, I would say be. 
the chase. Be modest, but don't be a damn fool. Yeah. You're going to miss out on some coochie. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you feel me? So it's kind of like, if she's saying that she don't want to fuck and shit like that, I see me, I talk. I'm like, hey. Like, I was just, I was like, hey, I thought you said we didn't, you didn't want to hunch, you know? Like, what you want to do? You, you trying to fuck or not? Okay, so we gonna either lay down or not because you can't be doing that. My body and shit be. Yeah, I don't like that. If you if you don't want like if you sex, don't want to have sex, just come chill. in the bed and lay down. And don't be you know, all kissing. All, all you gotta do is come slow and, and yeah, yeah all and that be like shit. no 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 no. Yeah, what you yeah, mean no 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 no? Get don't and don't and get off me and don't touch my dick at all at all. If you ain't go if you not, what's the point? You just you just touching shit. I told a story about on the podcast a few weeks ago about how I went over a girl's house. After an amazing date, spent like $500 or so house. We watched How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. And an hour and a half into the film, I ate her out for 30 minutes. And she came. Short little thing. Uh, <laughs> and then I laid down there expecting, like, not expecting, but like, hey, what's up? And yeah, she was yeah. like, why can't you just be a giver? Oh, see, oh. She thought by saying that, it was like, oh, no. he's going to want me even more. No. Nah. No. I, never, no, I, you never, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie. Women don't understand that. Wait, this was your, this was your girl? Or just a no, girl? Was I, I don't no, give a fuck. What it, we don't understand. When you don't give head, it's just like it's you. I you. just wanted a pee pee touch. No, it ain't no pee pee touch. <laughs> no, put no, your mouth put on your me. mouth. Uh, ain't no pee pee touch. Just like, pee -pee I'd rather have a lotion. <laughs> don't up. just I, not. I, like, I, what you mean? Like, put, put your me. mouth on me. I'd rather have a lotion up handy than a blowjob. Nah, bro. bro fuck a that. A nice lotion up handy making eye contact. Nah. <laughs> fuck Maybe a little aspirin. Uh, nah. <laughs> No, do you guys like ass No, nah, hell, hell no. Your ass? No. no. I, I'm the hell How much money would it take for you to suck a cock for 10 minutes? Hell, well, nothing. No, nothing. I can't. Bro, nothing. you guys are both liars. I swear cash to God. On my soul. Cash, I don't give a fuck. Don't that shit was a billion dollars, boy. Ain't no way. Really? Yeah. Hell, hell no. no. That's just not me. I'm sorry. Other people ain't. Hey, I have $10 million now. But no, hell no. Not me. So, so fucking go back to fucking quick, quick answers. Virginity, when and where lost both of you? Uh, Colorado when we was like about to turn 15. Yeah, 15. And it was together. So 15? Yeah. yeah. That's a good age. Yeah. Yeah, that was vibe. Yeah, yeah. It was like two, three years older than us too. Really? Did yeah. you smash more in high school or college? Because oh, it is, man. depending on where you grow up and where you go. I'm going to be real. I ain't gonna, no, no, college. For sure. Hey. Maryland? I don't know, I mean, bro. High school, I was a menace, bro. Really? Yeah. yeah, high, high school, school, I would go How many girls have you had sex with? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. know. I ain't going to lie. I really don't even count. Is it body. over 50? I don't, I don't even know. count. I don't know. I know we're going to be people, so I think. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't yeah. even know. Mine's, I don't, mine's I don't. right here. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. About three, I don't, by the way. So. I, I really don't keep count because I don't care about a girl's body count for real. For real. Mm. Yeah, like, I don't care I don't even that. ask that shit. Like, there's like, no need to. For what? Pass, for what? Pass, for what? For what? So, like, no. No. You'll be able to tell now, based on the been, sex how many, probably. I'd rather girl. i rather girl have 35 bodies, 40 bodies, than one of her bodies be like one of my homies. Like, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like rather you about. have a lot of bodies of people I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, it's not even, it's just, you be looking at it like, damn, bro. Like, he fucked too. Like, oh, I ain't gonna be <laughs> Yeah. Like, you can't. Because then you're comparing, like. That's why, like, even on the show, I wasn't, it was so hard because, like, I wasn't about all that shit, sharing and all that shit. I wasn't, I just, I'm not the type of dude. It was real hard, like doing all the convincing and, yeah. you know, I'm mean, I I really, really here for really you. We really learned about the girls. I mean, you said what? <laughs> we really learned about the girls because we, one, we were sober. You couldn't drink much. Yeah. You yeah. two drinks per night. Yeah. yeah. And then you actually like had to ask some questions of like, when's the last time you faced adversity? Like, <laughs> you sat out on a yeah. date? I'm like, do you want another vodka soda? That's <laughs> yeah. what I asked. I mean, I think it was, I mean, the girls was cool. They no, were, it is. It was refreshing. And you actually did build a genuine connection, whether that was romantic or not. But back to the virginity story. What was it? It was YouTube. Colorado. YouTube Colorado. 15. Where were you in Colorado? At a, uh, we was at some, we was at my homie house or whatever. And it was these two girls. We was just my cousin. Chilling. We was at my cousin's house. And we was just chilling, whatever, blah, 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 you know, kicking it off. And then, you know, the girl started getting right with me. And the girl started getting right with him right in front of me. So I'm like, oh, shit, we hanging out. That girl. Yeah, both it's girls. Girl. We both oh, started, both girls. Oh, yeah, it was we, a four-way. Yeah. Okay. So she was <laughs> messing with I don't mess with But then I found out she want to fuck. She was like, oh, you want a condom? You got a condom or whatever. And I did have a condom. Damn, my cousin had a condom. But, but we got scared. Well, we got scared because I didn't know what so the we fuck went, to do. We I didn't went know how to put bathroom, that shit We had a little meeting in the bathroom. We was like, hey, what we going to do? We going to do? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And I was just telling, hey, bro, just do what you do. Do what you see on porn, cuz. Just hang out. So I ain't know what I was. You porn 15? Yeah. I was porn at like 12. Yeah, yeah, 12. Yeah. I was hanging out. I was, I was fantasized. I'm like, were you, at, were you at like a home computer? 
I had all I had a home computer. I you know had, had like a one computer for the house? I had a home computer. You had to sneak down and go on like Teenage Hitchhikers and crank one out? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, I always had some type of electricity, uh, electronics around me. Like, yeah. I had, I think that way. 25? Oh, okay, a little younger. Oh, a little younger, man. 28. <laughs> yeah, no, but I always had uh, something around shit. Yeah. But that's why, like, when I was uh, dead first had sex, it wasn't hard. It was just like, I don't care, we had sex. So you ended up fucking? Yeah. yeah and then when like, yeah. first, it was your first time. Was it like you're in love with them? No, yeah, no. no we, we, that we happened talk. with me. Like I fell in love with a girl because when you, that's why you don't want to fuck a virgin. I, I guess that, so that didn't happen. We, huh? we didn't even talk to him no more. We didn't even talk. Really? Did <laughs> yeah. they, were their toes not right? No, no they, they was right. They, they was fine. fine. You wait, you checking toes at fifteen? Yes. I was checking toes at eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit better be straight. <laughs> but nah, like. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, we didn't really talk after that. We just kind of moved, went back home. Shit. Nah, but once I had sex, bro, I just we like, thought that shit was lit and oh, we like wow, that's I all like I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, football and sex. That's yeah. it. Like in high school, I didn't really party that hard. I just was like, I just vibing had at sex, the crib. Bro. Really, vibing at the Did crib. You smoke weed in high school? Yes, bro. I used to smoke. Yeah. Like first time smoking weed was I was twenty one. Well, I was my junior year of high school. That's when I started smoking. Really, sophomore oh. year. Sophomore year. Did you play football high and shit? No, no, no. I didn't. I could never do it. I was. I listened to a Percy Harvin interview the other day from the Vikings, mm -hmm. and he was like, "There was not a single game in my life that I've ever not been high for." Did you see that, LJ? Yeah. Did you see that? I mean, and he so, was fuck. I no, love but, Percy but Harvin. I, don't lie. So, I some, just but, forgot Minnesota. <laughs> but some, I'm about to say, some dudes like that. Some, yeah, I used, like, to, play, I have I used to play with some, some people like that. Like mm -hmm. I can't work out high. I can work out. I high. can work out. High. I used to get high and go work out. Yeah, for all sure. the time. All the time. Like you feel like Super that's like man. another pre workout. You smoke, get high, and really? like, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I, I it's depending on the weed you smoke. Yeah, I associate weed, whether it's indica or sativa, uh, just in and out. Like I need food. Like it make the munchies are ridiculous unless I'm in an environment like we smoked before the pot today, and you're around other people to like keep the stimulation going. Because yeah. if I'm by myself, I'm just slumped. And yeah. not being productive whatsoever. Yeah, I go to sleep, bro. I, I be yeah. See, he be sleep. Me, go girl. I don't know why. Go I, girl. When I get high, go girl. <laughs> when I get high, I get energetic. I start doing random shit. Right. Yeah, he be wanting to walk around. I'm completely different. I be wanting to just be stuck. I don't know why. I just really? he yeah. get up and start doing shit. Like, what you doing, bro? You sleep? I'm like, hey, leave me alone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let you me smoke be high. every day. Nah. Oh, really? Nah. Yeah. I, oh. I barely really smoke weed like that. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. I just know I used to smoke weed a lot. So you. What's your vice? What do you mean? Like, uh, what's your, um, like my advice would be probably shrooms. I love like microdosing shrooms, like drug is it, yo, I know your vice, your vice is sex. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest question on the podcast. Ever. No, I don't think it's no drug though. I, I kind of, no, sex I, isn't a drug, but no, like, no, no, what's your I'm, guilty I'm, pleasure? Sorry. My guilty pleasure is probably, uh, Fuck what I would? <laughs> my, no, it's probably, probably sex. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even that guilty, you know. It's not that guilty, shit. Yeah, I just like it. I feel like I feel like you need to have sex. I feel like I feel like relationships don't even start until after sex. So, going back to dating and stuff, uh, what do you say? Because hitting on girls at the gym, I always think it's a no no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you would tell them. So, who was telling me about the story about like what is the technique? To go up to a girl at a gym and successfully not be creepy so like, or ruin the experience because it is a weird place. I see a lot of bunch of hot girls at the gym yeah. and I don't want to go up to them to make it feel uncomfortable for them. You know, yeah. ruin yeah. the experience if it's not if they're not fucking with me. I mean, like I think when it comes down to like approaching a woman, you gotta know how to read the room. You know what I'm saying? Like you not gotta be real. Like you gotta be a master of creating a Kodak moment. You know what I'm saying? Photographer, all right. Yeah, yeah. You gotta know how to put that shit together because, like, because like if she in the middle, of, if she she in between sets or whatever, or she doing a set. You can't just be going and getting people weight. Like, you gotta understand how women think, like what they gonna want or what they. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you want to get a girl in the gym, you probably you know what I'm saying. You one see who you dealing with because some girls don't like to be bothered at all. At and the you gym. can tell. Yeah, you can tell. And you can tell. Some girls don't mind. But some the ones girls friendly. But the ones that be all. Ah, like all that cheek, kiki kaka. Yeah, yeah. Chichi there you go. Cause there I'm you telling go. you. So I think when you go like when it comes, Coach ain't mad some chichi kaka. <laughs> it's just depending on the girl. So if you mess with a girl who who don't like to be bothered, shit, I wouldn't mess with her. I well, I catch in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, excuse me. I, hey, I see you in the gym, and you know I be seeing you coming in a lot. So you know I think I've been looking for a gym partner. So. You feel me? Oh, that's, cheesy. Huh? that's cheesy. That's <laughs> cheesy. Cheese. 
Jeez, Jim Morrison. Jeez, Jim Morrison. You had a better one. You were like, yo, I like that outfit. I want to get it for my sister. No. But no, I think it's depending on how you, still know the I think it's depending on how you approach it. Like, you can't ask if you want to be Jim Partner. If you know how to work out, shit, like, shit, I want to be Jim Partner. You want to be my Jim Partner? Oh, you don't want to be? Okay. Baby. I don't want to work out with a girl. I just want to have sex with her. No. <laughs> I mean, I I'm think. I'm not ruining my workout. No, because I'm me. I'm my pace. I'm going to lose my gains. What, what the because problem? me, I look at things like, if I have a girl, right? And I approach her and ask her to be, I'm going to ask her to be our gym partner. We can go to the gym. We're going to be cool. So it's either, nah. I, I promise you it's going to work. Because then you're going to get up. You're going to be working out. Now you got a reason to work out. You got to get up. Okay. You got to do, you got a little friend. See me, I like friends. You know what I'm saying? We can have sex. You can have sex with all of them. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like friends. So it's like, you my workout shot. You feel me? You fine as hell. I want you. All that kind of shit. But whole time, I don't even got to have sex with you right now. I could be. I'm gonna be somewhere else. You feel me? So when you decide, do girls, you do can the girls know that? I mean, it's not that. I just told them. Tell, like, I tell them like, I have friends. I like having friends. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, and for specific things. You feel me? I might have a girl like, like wine bar. My wine bar date girl. Yeah. So more, every time I want to go to a wine bar, yeah. come on, you look fine, you look classy. Come on, let's look real cool. I got like, my nightclub girl. I got my nightclub yeah. girl. I got my rubber duck. You feel yeah, me? You gotta have a rubber yeah. duck. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then you got your little hibernation buddy when it get cold. It's getting real cold and oh, shit. Cup of season. You get what I'm saying? That's so it's the like most keen on like uh being in a relationship because you like to spend time with them. Exactly. Yeah, it's cup but of see, season. my thing is this though, like when it comes down to having women. I feel like women will respect them more if you a man that is organized about your women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you doing what you gotta do, but you have your women organized, you ain't gotta work with they ain't finna come at you crazy, they ain't finna do it, and you be honest with me, like, hey baby, look, I do this, I date other women, I got friends, da 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 da. I'm giving you an option. This is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I mean it respectfully. I don't mean it like uh, to be an asshole, but this is my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's, then I give you, you get one. On the then oh, I give you yeah, one thing. You exactly. get a choice. It's either you want to stay and you know what's going on, or you can, you know, go. I'm gonna just see you. I'm gonna see you in the next life. So you're not losing sleep over any girl. Hell no. Yeah. Cause like I fall in love so quickly, so that's nah, why I can't not, do that, dude. I think it's like I don't know, bro. I be fall. I be like falling for the wrong girls, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean the thing about it is, I mean the thing is, I, I be, I be. I be I can fall for a girl. I can. But even if I fall for a girl and she decide to do something or I own some fucked up shit or something like that, you know, I understand that people come and go. Shit. It's time for you to go. Shit. Mm. If you messed up, I say this. Some people get it, some, some people, people don't. don't. It's this and type people in the world. And if they don't get it, they, they ain't gonna never ever gonna get, get it. it. They never gonna get it. So it's like <laughs> if you want bullshit, you gotta go. That's just what you gotta you just gotta go. What you makes know what you saying? fall in love with a girl then though? Um when uh, when a woman bring out different parts of like what I want to do, like if I'm excited to do certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's sporadic things I want to think of, like when she make me do shit, I don't even do for real. You know what I'm saying? That's when, okay, I'm falling for a girl. You mm. feel me? All the other shit, sex, cooch is cool enough, but I ain't going to fall for you if I have sex. Like, you? Uh, I'm kind of like the same way. If you just kind of make me feel a little bit different about it. How? how? I mean, just being- uh, like, Do your laundry? No, not do my laundry. Just be like, um, just be they, be yourself. Be be my homie for real, for real. Like you know what I'm saying. Like be somebody that I don't really get tired of being around. You know, yeah. and like also like also be like you know caring, nurturing, and all the other stuff like that. Nice and don't be yeah. Gotta you. I you promise to have, God, but nice you're so there's have, no solution. No, no, no other. But you, you like a girl so much, you're willing to get her and pay I, for her pedicure. Will you? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you pay for girls' nails? Hell yeah. yeah. I, I only swipe for white though. Yeah, but I only swipe right. for white. Yeah, that took you. Like white. white, but if you swipe get pink, for white, but if the credit card. <laughs> but if you get pink, it's cool. It's cool. I just hope you got it. I just hope you got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I it's cool. Got it. cool. Me, I like me. And how I roll, we roll white. So yeah, exactly. It ain't white, I swipe it ain't right. for white like, only. That's you it. know what I'm saying? I ain't doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, and I ain't even having no conversation about it. Exactly. And she be like, "Oh, I'm gonna give me another." So, oh, okay, baby. What, what color you get? She's like, "Oh, I'm getting this French." Mm, okay. Mm, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, okay, baby, I'm gonna call you later. Boop, it's over. You know what, what I'm saying? Now, and I, I like French though. Yeah, because I still require like I want my woman feet done. Wait, time. when you say French, you mean the top part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So French. you want it all white? Yeah, all white. So like my, like this, but all white? Yeah. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? French Manny is so sexy as fuck. It is, it but is. I just add this. So there's... you won't fuck with white or you won't pay for it? No, no, no. no, 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 no French no, Manny, no, no, no. what you fuck no, with? I fuck with, I fuck with French Manny. I fuck with all toes. You toes pretty, toes pretty. It's just, 
The ones that you I purchased. Fuck with someone's painting these? <laughs> if it was on a girl, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But shout out to yeah. CT Nails on Santa Monica Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> but if like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what I like is what I like. I fuck with all. If your feet pretty, your feet pretty. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to me and my transaction, it's gonna be white. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, I ain't finna be like, oh, it's white. I ain't doing nothing. That I'm like, well, baby, you know I like white. You know, I think you should get white. You feel me? I like how I mean, your feet She's stick like, out. She's like, hop and get pink. Yeah. Mm-mm. Okay, baby. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what were you saying about earlier uh, going up to a girl like on the street and be like, like the ideal to like ideal way to hit on a girl or whatnot, go up to them and approach them. You were saying something along the lines of like, baby, you look hungry. Let's go get something to eat. Like going up to a random girl on the street and just like chit chatting her up. Like one, it takes balls, but two, like how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I really just think on random things to say. Like it, yeah. dep- it depending on like I was in the grocery store and I seen this real pretty lady. So I think I try to think out the box when I get when I approach women and try to flirt with them. The key to me flirting is to not make it seem like I'm flirting with them. You know what I'm saying? Like like kind of mm-hmm. like flirt a little bit, not too much. Like not nah, damn baby, you so fine. And yeah, they don't. Because if like they, they pretty, like, like they've been getting they called fine that. all day. You know what I'm saying? So I can win. So about me, bitch. So so. <laughs> So yeah. I went and grabbed. Yeah, yeah. Well, that one get you? Yeah. Yeah. So in the gym, say that. So I went and grabbed the watermelon. And I said, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Do, you, do these do this watermelon look ripe enough? Like, I feel like I want a real sweet watermelon. Do they look ripe? And she's like, yeah, what? She, and she helped me pick out a watermelon. And then, I, oh, where you from? What's your name? Oh, okay, that's nice. And I had got everything good. Yeah, yeah. Really? It depends on, like, where I'm at. Because you ain't got you know to hit, hit a woman with super ribs all the time. You just got to be yourself. See, I have that you know problem. Saying? I go through girls. Like, I met a, I'll be like, can you do me a favor and stop looking so pretty? <laughs> <laughs> like, you ain't got to do that. Like, I met a girl and, write this, like. Write this shit down. I met a girl and she looked real, real good and shit. And I was sitting at this little spot in a little sports bar, but a lot of people was there and she was sitting like where, like right over here, like right by this mic. And I was just sitting there chilling shit and I had a bottle of liquor. So I just leaned up and was like, hey, excuse me, you, you drink um, dark liquor? And she was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, you want a shot? She just came in, got a shot. And then she just started talking. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I feel like that comes and goes though. And not every girl's like that. Some are like, eh, I hate girls that like, Give you the like, like, like distaste. Like, like I that, said like though, that, that. like I said though, you gotta know how to read the room. You feel me? Social learning. Like, exactly. Yeah, you gotta be aware of what how she is. That's why me, like, if I see a, a, a fine girl, or some shit, I gotta look at them for a second, like two seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't just look and go. I feel like you gotta have a game plan. Exactly. You, know what you, what you gotta really have a plan. On. Like, okay, this conversation can go that, that way or this way. This way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I gotta. So you gotta have an audible for this way and an audible for that way, so you don't look Excuse stupid. Me. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever struck out on a girl? What, what you mean, mean struck out? Like uh, uh, all these white terms. Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like striking out. Like you go up to a girl and she's like not into it. Or like oh, like like, or like, and, like she you turned me down. You had it in the bag. You spent. So oh, much she time. turned you down. Yeah. Yeah. It turned um, you down. yeah that it's sometimes fun. come. Yeah. yeah. It's not really not a lot, but like not you a have, lot. You have a good rate. Hell yeah, 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 I don't yeah, say my percentage. Good batting average. My percentage. my percentage is probably like in the nineties. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, I say so. Yeah, I yeah. say about <laughs> ninety. About ninety two. Ninety three, ninety two. Ninety two. And you're selected by your woman. What do you like on a woman? What's your ideal girl? My ideal girl. I like um, I like a I like beautiful, like I like different looking women. You know what I'm saying? Like you can be fine, but it, you can like you can look like a hundred girls. So I like a woman that look different. You know what I'm saying? I like. The curly hair. The I natural love look. light skinned girls with curly hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. but see, I like all beautiful women because I can't say like, oh, I like light skinned girls. I can't. No, not necessarily that, but that specifically, I do like. I do love all women. Just <laughs> no, no, but like, strictly but like light skinned girls. <laughs> but I like that because you know you gotta because <laughs> you know you gotta say that shit. Motherfuckers be tripping. Yeah, yeah. But that I love me a nice little chicken tender. Chicken boy. tender. Oh, with some white toes. <laughs> What's a chicken tender? A chicken tender a chicken is a light skin woman. It's a light skin woman. Oh, okay. So like, you got different type. You got you got love, you got see, different type. I love Chick Fil A. Yeah, you, exactly, you got different yeah. type of light skins. You got light skins. Mm-hmm. She a little bit more melanin. Uh, you got a light skin. She a little bit more pale. Like a little bit more pale melanin with the blonde curly hair. Shit. That's called a, a sugar, sugar cookie. cookie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she a sugar. She cookie. a sugar cookie. Yeah. And the one that look nice. <laughs> you know the, the one. The ones that look nice and crispy. You know what I'm saying? The nice and crispy. And look like they, just, they was just deep fried. Yeah. So oh, you like them on the darker side. No. no that's no. that's just the different type. It's of the color of a real chicken tender. Like you think of a chicken tender. Oh. So, but like, you know how it's some light skinned girls that's 
more melanin than some got yeah. lighter. Oh, I mean, more pale. Let's go sugar so sugar, sugar cookie, cookie and chicken tin. Chicken tin. Do you have any other names for girls? Uh, uh, yeah, it depends on the girl. What's, a, dark, what's girl. a really dark one? Um, this is one girl named uh, Stomach Ache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, wait, you were the nickname for it? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. He well, made it up. I need to hear the context. Uh, so right. you're the guy with the name. You're, you're, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, Jam, yeah, yeah, you have Little Mermaid. It's, yeah. it's, it's, stomach, it's, ache. it's, it's stomach ache because, you know, she handed out stomach aches. Because you gave her that stomach ache? Because you're no. Yeah, no, no, no. She just, she really know how to do her thing. She be sucking that thing off. Oh. Yeah. yeah. She like, that's what she like known for. Yeah, that's what she do. Like, people know that. Like, she got that. Is that her porn name? I don't um, know. <laughs> but all I know is, can I know. Can I search her up? Can I <laughs> all invite I her over? All I know is, it's a stomach ache. That's it. <laughs> Wait, but oh wait, so she sucks you so good that you get a stomach ache. Yeah. Like you're about to puke. Like when you know when the football is like about to cry. You when you yeah, like, like you about to cry. Yeah, like, like you about that's to cry. That's the type of head I like. I don't like that little play play shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All and you that, trying to look all, like all, all that looking cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looking yeah. cute. Like slop. Uh, yeah, like, like look disgusting. Like, like, yeah, when I look down, I'm like, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it. Show them to Shut up. That's how I am. Like in sex for real. Like a girl gotta be like that. I make them hold their feet and everything. Oh, I love happy baby. <laughs> Fucking love. That's what it's called, happy baby. What's happy baby? Oh, the uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Happy baby. So happy baby. Let's go to yoga. <laughs> Happy baby, I'ma use that. Happy baby, that's yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking like, come on, man, Get on in that happy baby. I swear. Get in that happy baby. I like, talk, no, no, I like no talking. Yoga. I like talking shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What, oh wait, so do you like dirty talking or something? Hell yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I be like, uh, I be, I don't know, I be talking shit, bro. I be like, Shut up, bitch. I be like, nah, give me that good booty. <laughs> I, that's I, that's I shit talking. I'm not shit talking. Give me big booty. Yeah, give me a big. I be just talking. No, he said good booty. Oh, good booty. I like, I like, I like. You're, I like, uh, you're make me come. <laughs> like, 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 I'm like, trying to think of what do I say? Come, right? I haven't had it in a while. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah make me come. Uh, like, are you gonna come for me? No, she says that to me. <laughs> That's so quick, too. She gets it out. I ain't gonna lie. She, gets, she be... gets three sentences and I'm done busted. I don't know. It was this one girl, bro. She was from the, she was like a little islander girl, bro. And she was just the best talker in the world. Yeah. Was it in the voice? She was like was Popeye. She was saying Popeye or? shit. I was like, oh my God. I was um I was in a hotel. He was right next to me. Talking this girl he talking about. The Rich Carlton that you're saying? No, nah, no, no. The girl he talking about, he said that talk good. You were pretending to be asleep? Yeah, I, no, I wasn't. I was just vibing, and she was over there just really just talking. You were fucking next to her? No, yeah. I mean, I'd be, oh, I'd he was, I was asleep. I was laying down. I was oh, I'd do chill. that. I'd do that. I definitely would. But she was talking so much. She would call, tell me to call her mommy and shit. I was like, mommy, mommy. <laughs> you know I swear to God. <laughs> Like, you two guys, you and she was just, and was she like, was like, oh you know how you like when you fuck next to somebody, you try to be quiet. She, she wasn't be quiet, and like, she was like, up. "Fuck me, fuck me," and I was sitting there trying to go to sleep. I'm like, "Damn, like EJ, fuck her, fuck her, <laughs> fuck the girl, shit." <laughs> she keep on trying, like, "Fuck her, God damn, get it on, get it on." And I'm like, "I'm trying, I'm trying, like, I'm trying, I'm trying." I'm like, "Fuck the bitch, my food, yeah, something, yeah, shit." Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, that was it was real good too, boy. So that's your kink, toes and dirty talk. I think dirty talk really sets it up. I think really when a woman is just comfortable with her body when she comfortable with her body and she know what she doing with her own body then that's what make it real good that's the difference between like good pussy and bad pussy like you go set, for a plus size woman i would have, have i would have fun, i would have fun with a plus I size would have fun. yeah i don't know it's just depending on the plus size you she gotta, gotta be this. she gotta be like a a, a a a real pretty ass uh yeah plus size plus woman. size yeah i do it i definitely would do, do it, it. Later, yeah. especially in the wintertime, because you know it get cold. They get outside. warm. You know what I mean? They get warm. And it look like this. You always gonna be fed. Yeah, you ain't always. gonna ever be hung around them. What? I remember I used to have a little plus side woman in high school. She used to do my homework and shit. But I used to make sure we used to always go out, eat ice cream during lunch. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I cause I didn't do shit in high school. I didn't do my work. You know what I'm saying? Like what I was you mean a, you didn't do your work. I was a football player. I didn't do my I didn't So football's that serious and where you're from is that yeah. you had people do all your work. Yeah, damn near. That's insane to me. Yeah, yeah that's how I did. I mean, like they just so college, me. it has to be the same. Yeah, college, mm -hmm. I mean they just help you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just get the Some answer. You. Cause it, I, I totally agree that college athletes are now getting paid and they should be because it's a full-time job yeah if you're no, just no, a no, student sure. you have time yeah to, but you have see the thing about it practice, is like, like even being a former athlete going through that it's literally the hardest thing in the world you feel me like when you going like you literally waking up at 
five o'clock in the morning and going back to your room at like nine thirty at night. I'm talking about up the whole time. And you gotta understand, like throughout the year, you only see your family for like four years. You only see them like by like what fourteen days out of the year. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's you, it. Your, your life signed away. So it's like <laughs> you don't want to be home for Christmas because that means you ain't playing in the bowl. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that college football. It's good that the boys getting paid because I was I was mad when I found out. Cause I'm like, damn, I wish it was me. Damn. Yeah. But it's good. I think they deserve to get paid because it's like I understand the mental battle they go through. Like your mind be messed the fuck up yeah. for that boy because you don't know how to adapt to it a lot. That's why a lot. And of people, there's no there's like no time for pussy and shit. Too. Oh, oh no, it's hell, definitely it's time. time. Well, it's definitely time for that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's hey, the like whole this. time. Put like this. That's, that's the only thing. Put like this. That's, that's the only. Only. That's, that's the only. That's the only thing you want. But that's the only thing you want to do. Damn near after. But that's the only way you are gonna make it through it. Yeah. You go on that bitch yeah. and don't get nothing. Yeah, that's gonna be a long you time. You gonna be that bitch damn to kill yourself. Cause yeah, this shit. Cause like that's literally like you in college, you getting school paid for. You always got bread. You always got you getting paid all the time. You got all these. You wait to college athletes definitely do get paid and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Stipend checks. Stipend checks and money, and then you get your pale check and all that. Like you be right around. You going out me, I used to run around by three, four bands all the time. Like air, really? all the time. Hell yeah. So because, like these big recruits are definitely getting paid to go to certain colleges. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like would you be paid to come? Like while they're like, in college, like, why would they like someone picking out Florida over Alabama? I mean, sometimes it, it's you know, some, like it's some and shit. I feel it's some it's, it's some cases that be like that. Yeah, subjective for sure. Before I'm taking way too much of your time. Before we head out here, I want you to sing because you guys together, <laughs> you guys sing all the time in the show, and you guys were the best energy and vibe on Fuckboy Island. Too, you can you just give a little something, something, <laughs> just a little sun, sun, <laughs> so we can end this on a high note. Uh what is it? Don't you know I I'm stand <laughs> around with my head hanging down and I wonder who, 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 who loving you cause I'm going down baby hey say I'm going down baby say I'm going down baby cause who loving you oh baby I am aroused I'm gonna go suck on some toes yo thank you so much for coming on Keem and EJ watch Fuckboy Island season 3 before we head out do you want to plug anything where can we find you hey man it's 20 of friend of bad bitch we get Plenty of them. You already know what it is, man. <laughs> hey, look. So, hey, man, you can follow us on Instagram at twin them TW, two eyes, two ends, DM if you want to fuck with the twin. Yeah. So, let it is, man. Hey, you find us on TikTok like that. You can find us on uh, Instagram like that. You can follow my personal Instagram, twin one, or his personal Instagram, twin, twin two. two. Make sure y'all tune in. F Boy Island season three. Let's go. Me and my boy Marco, King, me. We all up in that, man. We turning up, man. Thank you, you guys did. for coming on. Thank yeah, Happy sure. Dad. Thank Rain. Thank Purple Banter for producing this bad boy, Kathy and LJ. Until next time, thank you guys. Thank you. I've been on the road. I've been doing shows. Now